Hello, this is going to be uh, the F1D build blog uh, vlog episode uh, 7. Uh, today I'm going to cover um, one of the tools that Ray Harlan makes. This is a jig that is used for bending top hats. The top hats are used for only one thing in F1D. Um, they're used for making F1, uh, uh, F1D variable pitch prop mechanisms, and it's for one specific purpose. Um, it's going to be very hard to show you uh, very tiny things. So in this case, I'm going to show you something uh, that's much larger so you can get the idea of what it is, what it does, uh, what it's actually needed for. Uh, this is a piece of wood, uh, and it already has a slot put in it in here in the center. I, Hope you can see this okay. Um, this is, uh, if you can imagine this being a prop shaft, this is what uh, actually will move the prop blades uh, to change pitch on them. And you can see uh, if it doesn't have anything to stop it from moving, it will keep moving without stopping. Uh, initially, when they started building VP prop mechanisms, people used brass and they would. Uh, attach it to the prop shaft and uh, using solder and they typically broke after a bit. So one of the one of the smart guys, much smarter than me, came up with an idea of using carbon for it. There's an off-the-shelf uh, piece of carbon that's about 15 or 16 thousandths of an inch thick and 40 thousandths wide. It comes in meters, I don't know how long you could probably get it in, um, but it works perfectly for this purpose. The thing, though, is that you need to have something to stop this from rotating, and that's what they call a top hat. Now, here I'm going to use just a section of thick paper clip wire uh, in order to show you what a top hat would be and what this thing is used for. Um, here I just have a pair of pliers. I'm going to bend this around, uh, and this is typically something you would do with uh, 13 thousandths thick wire. and I'm going to bend it so that it's kind of to uh, as much of a point as I can get it to be uh, with this wire. So it'll look like this to begin with um, once you do that initial point. And now what you want to do is you, you want to bend it straight out in this direction and straight out in this direction. So you want the top hat to be um, in such a way that when you are turning the prop shaft, the other side is in direct line. It's exactly uh, in line with the other piece. So this is what will happen now. You'll have a prop shaft going down here, and then you'll have the rest of the prop holding mechanism going straight up. And then you have this little bend here that will stick inside the wood and prevent it from turning. That's what's known as a top hat. Now, you can bend these by hand, doing this, which is what I'm going to demonstrate here because it's just what I've got and the top hat bender will not do this uh, anywhere near this thick of wire. So that's one downside of doing it this way, but I, uh, the main part here is I want you to get a sense of what it looks like and what it's trying to do. So here I have a crappy piece of crappy pair of pliers and you know, see if I can make this work. There's one bend, and then here's another bend. I'll try to get it as aligned as I possibly can. And that's actually not bad, but you can see it's not exactly correct. It's not exactly round, but this is an idea. This is what a top hat actually is. And what would happen then is it would fit into the slot. I may have to make the slot a little bit bigger, but it's okay with a little balsa. It's easy to do. And then you would make this thing perpendicular exactly to the top and the bottom. And then as this would be your uh, carbon yoke, they would call it, your actuator arms, your prop would fit in here. So as this moves, these would end up turning and changing the pitch of the prop. So this particular jig, uh, so now that you, uh, you understand exactly what it's for, um, this particular jig that he sells uh, will do two different types of uh, top hats. 
One is for uh, 13 thousandths wire, which is too small really to demonstrate here, but basically once you, once you do one of these kind of top hats, let me just grab a piece of wire out of one of my packages I have left from A to Z. I will cut off one, so I'm assuming this can't really be seen all that well. But I will demonstrate anyway. It's going to be about there. Just bend this as quickly as I can to a point. It's pretty good. Then this really needs to be in a pair of vice grips or something along those lines, but it will fit into a hole here. And when it fits into the hole, and you have it squeezed, you can then use a pair of pliers or something along those lines, and you can bend your top hat and it will be just about perfect just from doing this part. Um, what you can do here, actually, uh, when you have it in uh, a vise or you know vice grips or something like that, you can actually hit it with a hammer and it'll make it very nice and tight and get it very, very close to being uh, perfect. That's how it should be done. Um, this is a very bad example because it's still way off at, a, at uh, uh, an angle. Um, but this is the way that these things work is put it into the little hole, whack it with hammer a couple of times and you've got that thing nice and straight. Uh, it's possible it'll be off at an angle. This way you can make the adjustments but afterwards, that will fit into any slot you put into the carbon um, bar or yoke for this. I hope you learned something. Have a good day.